Hey guys, I want to show you how to deploy a Sage website to WP Engine. If you've ever used Sage before and you've read the documentation, you know that deploying a Sage site isn't as simple as deploying other WordPress sites, and that's because you need to run Composer and you need to run Yarn. And unfortunately, WP Engine makes that a little difficult, um, but I'm able to do it using a service called Deploy HQ. Um, what they're able to do is they're able to basically run Composer and run Yarn on their end, build the files, and then deploy those files to WP Engine. So before I show you how to do that, I wanna show you something I ran into, which is, it has to do with uh, how the compiled assets are cached. Uh, to be honest, I'm not totally sure how this works. I found something helpful in the docs here, I could link to this. But basically the problem I was running into was I was able to success successfully upload and compile my assets through Deploy HQ, but then I was running into a lot of uh, white screen errors and it's because the compiled path wasn't working on WP Engine. So if you comment out what comes with Sage, which is this line right here, and just replace it with this, it will take care of any white screen issues you're having. So now that we have that out of the way, I just want to show you the, the settings I, I configured in Deploy HQ to help upload a Sage site. So that's a previous deployment. So I'll start with the servers and groups. Say I blurred everything out just for privacy, but I am deploying to my themes folder. My theme happens to be called PVOA, but you'll want to change that. And I am also deploying from my theme. So my Git repository was initialized in the root of my WordPress install. I didn't initialize the repository in my theme. So make sure you know where your repository is initialized because it will affect some of these settings, but because I'm only concerned with uploading my theme, I just want to upload from this subdirectory. The next thing I want to go over is just these exclude files. So I don't want to upload anything with node modules, and I was just explicit here and highlight any node modules, but also specifically in my themes folder right here. And again, my theme is PVOA, you'll want to update that. The next thing is the build pipeline, and this is the most important thing. So I'm using two build tools here, Composer install and Yarn install, and I'm getting that from the docs here. So documentation is just telling you how to do that, and I'll go through each of these now. So Composer install, it, I'm using this Composer template right here. I've, I called it Composer install. And note here that before I run this command, I change directory into my themes directory. And that's because this command is gonna run in whatever directory your, your repository is initialized in. And since my repository is initialized at the root of the WordPress install, I need to first change directories and go into my theme before I run composer install. And then I'm passing the node dev flag just so it doesn't install any development dependencies. If I don't do this, it's just gonna run composer install at the root of my directory and the build is gonna fail. Same thing with yarn. So I, I select yarn as my template. I, I named it yarn install. Again, I change directories into my theme and then I run yarn install and yarn run build production. And I'm get, again, I'm getting that from the documentation here. So what happens is when I make a deployment, both, excuse me, both composer install and yarn install, those two commands that I set up in the pipeline, they're gonna run. And then the last thing you wanna take care of is in the build pipeline, make sure that you're using Node.js 10. It's gonna default to, I think, the latest stable version, but at the time of this recording, Node.js 10 is what works for me. Um, if it's anything else, it breaks during the build for yarn install. And I'm also using 
version 10 locally. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that whatever you're using locally and successfully building with locally, make sure to use that during your, um, in your build pipeline. And the last thing here is cache these files. So the node modules folder and the vendor folder, those are generated by Yarn and Composer. And you can just speed up your deployment by caching those files. So that way Yarn and Composer don't have to pull those files down every single time. Um, again, you'll want to replace PBOA with the name of your theme. And that should do it. Thanks.